channel, I thought I would do a what I eat in the day because if you've been following me, you know I love to eat. I'm a big foodie. It's probably because I'm a Taurus, but it's my love language. Eating good food, making good food. It's my favorite thing to do. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and share what I eat in a day. I'm not a big dieter. I do watch what I eat because I have a bit of a gluten and soy allergy. So I've eliminated those mostly, but sometimes I like to eat sushi and sometimes I wanna go eat some pizza. So I'm very flexible. I'm a big intuitive eater. So like if I'm really feeling full and bloated, I'm not gonna eat foods that make me that full and bloated. I'm gonna eat lighter foods. Something I'm really strict about is eating based on where I'm at in my cycle. One thing I've struggled with is pretty bad PMS mood swings when my period comes. Eating based on my cycle has been really helpful. So right now I'm in the ovulatory phase and it's very important to release estrogen. That's kind of like how I eat, quite healthy kind of gluten-free, kind of paleo. I love to eat some sweets sometimes. So today will be a really great kind of depiction, really great picture for you guys to see how I eat. I like to eat whole foods, I like to eat balanced foods. My boyfriend likes the foods that I make, which is nice. Let's get into this video. It is morning, you already saw me work out, make my tea. I love drinking dandelion tea. It's another great way to release those hormones and estrogen. So I made that before my meeting and the meeting's done. I'm gonna have some breakfast. I did share this smoothie in my last vlog, but if you missed it, you're in luck. All right, so let's get into this smoothie. Here's our blender. We have a little Nutribullet, which is not too bad. I really like that it has different attachments. So this is like, first and foremost, almond milk. I love the Califia Farms almond milk, which I just got a new one yesterday because it's the market. And this one is a very clean almond milk. It only has three ingredients. I can't wait to start making my own. I'd love to do that but this literally has water, almonds, and sea salt. So that made me really happy. So I am making a smoothie for two. My boyfriend loves this smoothie. It tastes like a Wendy's Frosty, which I love. The protein powder I use is the Be Well by Kelly Lebeck. And it is so yummy. Two scoops of that, one scoop for me, one scoop for my boyfriend, and then this is where I throw in the fiber. So when it comes to eating based on my cycle, fiber is so important. Like I mentioned, you gotta release those hormones. So I go with some flaxseed meal. I do one nice scoop of that. And then another secret ingredient is frozen cauliflower, which really nicely thickens the smoothie. And it's tasteless, so it's not like you're going to be tasting the vegetables. I also like putting frozen zucchini based on the food I make, but this cauliflower is just super subtle. And my boyfriend never knows it's in there, so he can't taste it. I did good. And then I go in with this cowboy colostrum. I really wanna try another colostrum. Yeah, Armor colostrum. I've heard really great things. I picked this up at Erwan when I was making the Sophia Ritchie smoothie because it had some colostrum in there. And two scoops. Almost done. Some cinnamon. And then I go in with some nut butter. I actually really been liking this one by Nutso. It has all the nuts. It has cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, pumpkin, and sea salt. Pumpkin and chia and flax seeds are so good for women as well. All right, and then the most important ingredient in this, ice. That's gonna give it the frosty taste, but also Jason needs ice in his food. Sometimes I can do without, but Jason will love it. All right, and now time to blend. Oh, I need to plug it in. All right. I only bring one glass out because Jason is all about not making more dirty dishes. So he likes to drink out of the smoothie blender. Look how thick it is. So yummy, you guys. Mm. I love when food is healthy and tastes like you're eating something that's not healthy and like decadent. I'm gonna go finish my smoothie, do some more work. And then I'll be back to 
lunch. Are you guys going to do for lunch today? Because I love to cook lunch. <laughs> little kind of a snack break but not really just an energizing a focus break I'm very impressed with these you guys these are the lemmy matcha gummies and I take one to two depending on how much energy I need and my favorite though is actually the focus gummies these give me like two to three hours of focus so we're looking for some gummies that actually work this isn't sponsored this is genuinely I actually like them. My friend recommended them to me. Yeah. Real quick snack. All right, time for lunch. Today we are making chicken lettuce wraps. Very easy to make, super yummy. It's a little P.F. Chang's dupe because one thing about the P.F. Chang's one, it has sugar, it has soy, it's inflammatory. And the recipe that I use is anti-inflammatory. I don't use soy sauce, I use coconut aminos. So if you're looking for a great alternative, if you wanna watch your soy intake, you can't even tell with this. It's amazing, I really like this. Um, instead of soybean oil, we use avocado oil. And it's just really yummy and fresh. And I've just been loving cooking food at home because it just tastes so much more flavorful. So I'm very picky now on where we go out and eat. Not because I'm picky about like ingredients, but I hate when food tastes bad. It's so annoying to me when you're spending so much money and the food sucks. So we are using some ground chicken. You can use ground turkey. And I like this meal because it has 20 to 30 grams of protein and I eat meals very high in protein. You guys saw my smoothie earlier is very high in protein. Now lunch is gonna be high in protein, which is important to me when I eat healthy like this because if I eat something very carb heavy, I kind of crash and then by three o'clock, I am not energetic, I'm very sluggish. So since I've changed how I eat, I have a lot more energy to get through the day and your girl's a busy girl, so I need all the energy I can get. But, all right, let's make this and enjoy some lunch. Your eyes tell me that you don't wanna leave just yet, no. My eyes agree. It's almost like when we first met. Oh, I don't care, it's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't wanna spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come give me with your touch and make me wanna say. Lunch is served. Thank you. All right, here's our meal. Chicken lettuce wraps. So good. Really nice with some rice too, huh? Mm. Like it, babe? Mm-hmm. So good. So yummy. Do you think these are better than P.F. Shanks? No. Yeah. All right. I was telling them how I make a lot of recipes mm -hmm. that support my cycle. But if I didn't tell you they did, you would never notice. I would never know. Yeah. So flavorful. And fresh, huh? Yeah, agreed. To that bar. While I was eating, I saw we have such beautiful lemons to get into. I have a lemon tree in my backyard and they're just popping up, popping off the tree, ready to eat and it kills me for them to go to waste. So, looked up a recipe. I had some old blueberries. They're not bad yet, but they're getting there and I don't want them to go to waste. So. I'm gonna make a lemon blueberry cake. Obviously, make it something I can enjoy. So I'm gonna use gluten-free flour. And I discovered this new sweetener alternative. I'm not really picky or a stickler about not having sugar, but I do know sometimes when I have too much sugar, I get anxious, get a little edgy and irritable. So, I like to try to not be. So this allulose alternative I discovered when Jason and I were experimenting with carnivore is really good. It's a great alternative. It doesn't taste fake and it sweetens quite nice, but you definitely need a lot more. And it has zero calories if you're calorie conscious. And then, I don't know if you guys saw that last vlog, but we're gonna need some vanilla and yeah, some fresh lemons. So I'm gonna pop up in this recipe, found it on Pinterest and kind of adapted to my eating, so let's get into it. Get things every 
sound better on the wall. before yoga sculpt but we were so full from the chicken wraps and another thing I like to keep on hand is ground beef so you saw quick easy meal with ground chicken or ground turkey whatever you like but this is our quick and favorite easy meal with ground beef and it's literally just ground beef taco seasoning and black beans and Jason likes his in tacos and or with tortillas and I like to put some cheese on top I go with a raw cheddar and he loves red onions. I love jalapenos. My favorite jalapenos are these mazito ones. I think they're Italian, but I could eat them like pickles. They're so yummy. And then I like to eat mine with little mini peppers. Um, sometimes I like to do it with chips. It kind of depends, um, but I don't know. I get super full with tortillas. Um, I don't know. Just wasn't feeling them today, so that's kind of like my way of eating them. So we're going to eat this dinner and then... Let's try this blueberry lemon cake, which I'm really excited about. You guys, nothing beats dessert before bed. Got a large piece to share with Jason. And did a beautiful job frosting this, but I like the rustic vibe of it. All right, let's try this. Made it gluten-free, used, used alternative sugar. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. Oh my gosh, and this cream cheese frosting. Oh, just like a really nice touch to it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right guys, I hope you guys like this vlog. Let me know if you wanna see more on what I eat in the day. Food is a passion of mine. Cooking is one of my favorite hobbies. And I just love using fresh ingredients and making yummy food, so. I hope you guys like this vlog. Be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and catch you in the next video. Bye.